Hey, what's going on everybody? It's been about three weeks since my last water change on this tank, and I wanna show you a pretty cool way that I do my water changes. So the way I do my water changes, all I need is this hose right here to siphon the water out, and my water supply. You don't need any buckets, it's an easy process, and I can change as much water as I need. I can change the whole tank right here, which is 14 gallons, in probably about five minutes. Thankfully, my sink is right here, so I don't need too long of a hose. So I just stick the siphon hose right here, pump on the little ball, and it starts to siphon, as you can see. Now, if I leave it like this, it goes pretty slow, so I like to just pop off this little pump ball here, and now, siphon goes much quicker. And I'm gonna do about a 50% water change on this, which is about seven gallons, maybe probably even actually five gallons. You know, if you include all the rock and sand, and even the water that stays in the, uh, the back part of the filtration system. So it's gonna be about a five gallon water change. And I don't worry about the corals much because they're just gonna be out of the water two or three minutes max. Now, that one's very cool. You know, everybody can do that. But now, this is my salt water source. Alexa, turn on the salt water. She's a little slow there. Here we go. And it's as easy as that. So now I wanna show you exactly my entire setup here. So I got my hose completely ran to my frog room slash fish room slash copepod and phytoplankton room. And I just got it ran to my saltwater mixing station here. And there is a pump down in there, which you can see it's a Jabo DCP 5000 pump. So it's plenty plenty strong enough to run all the water all the way out there to the kitchen where my tank is. So yeah, it's a pretty cool setup. Oh, also let me show you. I've actually got the pump plugged into a little smart outlet. And you know, I have plans to hook up a RODI tubing somehow and just run it along, I don't know exactly where yet, the ceiling or the floor or something, and run it along to, you know, maybe this wall or something right here. So I can just put a small hook up here. I can change the water on that tank, and I can change the water on this tank, you know, as well as that tank back in the corner, and this future clownfish breeding tank right here. It's kind of a mess right now, but that is in the works. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to set that up yet, but that'll definitely be a video in the future at some point. Don't hold me to it, but I have been thinking about it and trying to figure out a way to do this so I don't have to drag out this hose every single time I need to do a water change. But other than that, that's how I do my water changes. And if you want to do water changes the way I do, I'll go ahead and throw everything you'll need down in the description below.